If you want to get rid of your account with a useless Nintendo Network ID, but you don't have the password and you don't want to factory reset your console, you clicked on the right video. All you need for this guide is your Wii U with Aroma custom firmware set up and a PC or any device that can run an FTP client. If you don't have Aroma custom firmware set up, click the video in the top right to get started there. So I have three accounts on my Wii U here and I want to get rid of this one, Funky47. The reason being is that it is my Nintendo network ID that is useless. Don't be fooled by the Pretendo logo, that is my custom theme. And just a heads up, what we are about to do is going to delete the whole account. So if you would prefer to just unlink the Nintendo network ID, you should definitely look into Wii U account swap. It's an app that allows you to unlink it so that you can link your Pretendo to that same user. But I am simply going to delete it. So to begin, we need to get a plugin called FTPIIU. You may have heard about it before, but there are three methods to get this. We can use the Homebrew App Store here to get it there, or you should also have the Aroma Updater right here. And lastly, you can download it directly onto your computer and place it into your plugin folder. But I am going to go to the Aroma Updater, and even if you already have this plugin, it's always a good idea to make sure it's updated to the latest version. So Aroma Updater is definitely the best for certain plugins. And right there, I need to update it. So I'm quickly going to do that. Even if you don't have it yet, this page will also install it but we'll do that real quick. So now it's updated, now my console will restart. I'm booted back up and now we need to go into the plugin menu. So in order to do that, hold left bumper on your gamepad, down on the D-pad and minus. And you should see this page here, just go to FTP IIU, select it. Under enable FTPD, make sure it's true and true for the top two. Exit the plugin menu and then go back into it. Go back into FTP IIU. And then on the fourth row, this is your IP of your console. Don't worry, it's not unsafe for other people to see it, but this is what we're going to need. We're gonna leave it up on the screen while we go back to our PC and get an FTP client set up. So I'm gonna leave my Wii U on, switch to my PC right here. And this page right here, I have a link for it down below, and this is where we're gonna get our FTP client. Windows. Win SCP. If you're on Mac, you can use Cyberduck, and there's even an option for Linux. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna grab this file. It'll take us to the FTP page. Just hit download here. Open up your downloads and run the exe file. Hit yes when Windows prompts you, and just run through the installation. Finish, and we can exit our browser, and then you should see the program on your computer. So just run it and you should see this come up. And now is when we use our credentials, our IP from our console and connect it to our computer. And just a reminder, your PC and your console must be on the same network for this to work. But what we're gonna do is basically cop our IP into the host name, just like so, and then plug in the same port number as it says on your Wii U, press login, press okay, and it should connect to your Wii U and it should connect and you should see all of these folders. Now, before you touch anything, I will warn you, these are your actual system files. So if you accidentally delete something important, it could cause big trouble for your Wii U. So please be careful and please make sure you know what you're deleting. But you should see all of these files right here. So now we need to go find the proper file. So for our account files, we're gonna go into storage MLC, USR, save, system, ACT for account, and here you should see your account. So as my Wii U had three accounts on it, there are three folders and we need to find out which one is the correct one we want to delete. And don't worry, we do not have to guess which one to delete. There is a way to find out. So in order to find out, go inside of any of those folders and grab the account.dat file and drag it onto your desktop. You may have to confirm to copy it over, but it should be on your desktop. And now we're gonna open it, just double click it, and you should have the option to open it up in your notepad. If you don't, just right click and click edit in notepad. And you should see here your account ID. Now in this case, it does not have one for me, so this is not the proper one that I wanna delete. So I'm gonna exit. I'm going to delete this account.dat file off my computer. I'm going to go back by pressing this blue arrow and I should be back into the folder with the three accounts. So next up, 
I'm gonna open up my 8005. So I'm gonna go in there and do the same. So grab your account dot dot and drag it onto your desktop. Open it up with Notepad. And this time, my account ID is funky47. So that is the one I personally want to delete. So this is the file. And that just means that my 8005 folder is the account I want to get rid of. Once you have also found the one you want to delete, make sure you remember it. Press the blue arrow to go back. And we will simply right click on that folder and hit delete. It will ask you, are you sure? Just double check that you select the proper one. But once you're positive, you have the correct folder, press okay and it should be deleted. So now we can exit our FTP client. We can delete the account.dat file off our computer as well. We don't need that anymore. Over on your Wii U, it will still be on this screen. So we're gonna hit the power button once to turn our Wii U off. Give it a little bit and boot your Wii U back up. So we're loading back up. I'll go back to switch a user. And as you can see, I completely deleted the account with the Nintendo network ID I did not want. So now if you made a Pretendo network ID with the same username as your Nintendo network ID, you can now put your Pretendo one on this console. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please hit that like button and I will see you on the next guide. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>